We live in a world of words, but sometimes it can feel like a war of words. All around us, the world seems divided over the issues that affect us all. In politics, the media, online, opposing viewpoints clash as sides attempt to gain support for their arguments. As more people adopt positions, the attacks become more vigorous. Supporters on each side become increasingly entrenched and are unable to find common ground because they are too busy having the argument. Even crucial issues that deeply impact people's lives and their freedoms arouse such passionate arguments that they can be met with equally passionate responses. It seems as if outspoken divisions, hate threats and abusive language have become normal ways to express ourselves. And it's hard to see how we can break this cycle of anger and attack. As humanity developed from small farming communities to villages to towns and nation states, so too did our power structures. We want to hold absolute power to account, and over time, kings, emperors and oligarchs have evolved into democracies. Within democracies, debate is a tool that allows decisions to be made more fairly. Ideas could be pitted against each other to determine which were the best and should be adopted. While this has allowed for a diversity of viewpoints to be expressed, there are challenges. Within this current approach, to test ideas properly, you need opposing viewpoints. Convention dictates that there should be a for and an against, which can result in division. None of us on our own can understand everything. Collectively, we possess a far greater range of knowledge. Harnessing this diversity of perspectives allows us to accomplish things that we have not yet imagined. Yet our current frameworks don't allow us to take full advantage of this richness of understanding. Issues are often oversimplified and we end up in conflict. We lose sight of our collective search for truth. Winning comes first, the truth is secondary. This attitude is like twisting weeds that choke new ideas and block out the light. Solutions remain undiscovered and the debate continues, with both sides shouting louder and louder, just to be heard. So, what can we do? Is there a way to include more voices and opinions in our democratic decision-making processes without creating more negative conflict? Is there a way that the concerns, thoughts and ideas of more than just two sides of an argument could be explored while still searching for a collective outcome? A profoundly different approach to finding the truth is consultation. Like debate, consultation puts forward different ideas. But unlike debate, once an idea has been suggested, it belongs to the collective and is thoughtfully discussed without the need for conflict. There is no need to win because no one owns the ideas and no one needs to actively defend them. It is an inherently inclusive process that honours a collaborative search for the truth rather than the supremacy of certain viewpoints over others. Because it is less adversarial, it encourages more voices to join the conversation. There is no either or, so many ideas bloom and flourish. Anyone can participate. Just bring along a willingness to listen and contribute. Using this positive approach, we can create an environment where we can work together and learn from each other's thoughts and ideas. Consultation gives us a more inclusive path to the genuine search for truth. As we live in times where, in our quest to understand the world and solve the problems we see, the arguments seem to be getting louder and louder and the issues more and more complex. Perhaps we've outgrown debate and need to try something new. Could consultation offer us a way forward? Instead of winning arguments, maybe what we need at this moment is to come together and consult on how to make the world a better place.